Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. If you did anything cool, let me know down below. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I've seen come up a lot on my channel. I've seen it in comments on YouTube and comments on my Instagram, and that's weight loss plateaus. Now, you can research this online or probably on YouTube as well, in different articles, but what I'm gonna be doing differently is that I wanna talk about weight loss plateaus as well as ruts. Like, we all get into ruts, right? The first part of my video, I'm gonna talk about, you know, weight loss plateaus and what you can do. The second part of this video, I'm going to be talking about ruts and how to get out of a rut because I feel like the two kind of go hand in hand. Like, if you're working really hard on your fitness journey, and then you're not seeing results, you might end up in a rut and vice versa. You might end up in a rut and then not work so hard on your fitness and then hit a plateau. So I feel like the two, I don't know, I feel like they mesh really well together to talk about and kind of just share my tips. The first thing is, what is a weight loss plateau? So just in simple terms, a weight loss plateau is when you're no longer seeing any more changes on the scale. So the number's not going down or you're not getting to your goal weight and you're not seeing body fat percentage go down. I personally don't like to keep track of my weight. I don't like to weigh myself. I feel like it can get really discouraging, but I know for a lot of people it can be really helpful to track their progress numerically and say like, well, I have proof, like I have evidence that when I do this, I lose weight and here it is. Like, here's how much I weighed this month. Here's how much I weighed last month. I do think in a lot of times weighing yourself can be helpful. And if you are weighing yourself, you could notice a plateau. Something I found out about weight loss plateaus and I found this interesting and I was like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Most people in their fitness journey will experience a weight loss plateau. Now, the second thing that I found interesting is some people, depending on what your goal weight is or your goal body or putting on muscle, some people will actually even notice multiple weight loss plateaus. So you'll, you could be in multiple ones and that's still totally normal. If this has happened to you, just know like it's normal and it happens to most people. So you're not alone, you're not lazy, you're not like, you know, one of those people that can never have their goal body, absolutely not. We are here to talk about this and solve this issue. The first thing you wanna do when you're breaking a plateau is you wanna write down what you're doing now. What are you eating? Are you taking cheat meals? What are your exercise program? What is your, what's your exercise routine look like? So write that all down and you wanna be completely honest with yourself. So, you know, if you are taking little slip ups, if you are taking cheats, if you're skipping your workouts, if you're, you know, only putting in a little bit at the gym or anything, or if you work out at home, that's totally fine. You could still get your dream body at home. Um, I'm just saying, if you are cheating yourself in any single way, now is your time to write this all down because the only way you can break a plateau is to do something different than what you're doing now. So the first way to break a plateau is to turn up the intensity. And there's two ways you do this. One has to do with the exercise side of things and one has to do with the diet side of things. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about the exercise side of things. That was really hard to say, like just it didn't come out right, the exercise side of things. Okay, so that's why you guys have the notebook and are writing everything down. You have to ask yourself, what kind of person am I? Do I mainly lift weights? Do I mainly do cardio or do I do a little bit of both? So for me, I, me and my boyfriend are actually great examples for weight loss plateaus and we're on different sides of the spectrum. So me, cardio comes very easy to me to do, to want to do, I get motivated to do cardio. My boyfriend on the other side loves to lift weights. He likes that big muscle look and that's all he does. He doesn't really like to do cardio. He just likes to lift weights. We both have experienced plateaus because here I am mainly doing cardio, not that much weight, and he's mainly lifting weights, not that much cardio. So if you're one of these people, like you're on one side mainly doing cardio, you need to add weights. We need to have weights in our workout, that way we start seeing results. And if you're somebody that's only lifting weights, whether you're doing heavy weights, whether you're doing light weights, lots of reps, you need to add cardio into your routine. Also, the great thing with lifting weights is you put on more muscle and muscle burns more calories and burns more fat. So more muscle on your body, the more you can do that. And another great thing to do with working out is try something new. You know, recently me and my boyfriend, we took this climbing class. It's called Rise Nation. Workout for this one, go long range. Three, two, 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 three, two,
<laughs> definitely challenging you're like climbing but my whole point is it's something different like it's something it's a way that my body w wasn't used to being used like I'm not used to like you know doing stuff like that and the same thing with my boyfriend we were both like so sore after and we're like oh my god what did we do but that is a good thing for our bodies it's a good thing to change good things it's a good thing to change things up lifting weights and doing cardio is going to be great for a weight loss plateau so the next way to turn up the intensity is with food so maybe you're doing everything right with your exercise routine um you know maybe you've been switching things up so you don't get used to things but maybe you've been slacking on your diet or maybe you're eating too many calories so the best way to kind of keep track of calories and macros if you're doing something like that once again, write it down. Um, I know there's all these apps that people use, like uh, I think Fitness Pal is one of them, right? Um, or even like notes in your phone. Like I'm, I'm like so old fashioned. Like I do like to write things down because I feel like this is real. Like this is real to me. Maybe you need to actually go back to square one and start logging things down, whether it's in a notebook, um, my favorite way, whether it's in like a fitness app. Maybe you actually need to go back and say, okay, I had this for breakfast, it was this many calories. And then once you get to your goal weight, you can just maintain and eat intuitively, um, which is what I do. So even if you have to count calories for a small period of time, that's not so bad. I mean, if you were doing it the rest of your life and forever, yeah, that could be really annoying. But if you're just doing it, like you say, hey, I wanna do this for three weeks or a month, a month would be great. I wanna do this for a month and see if my body reacts and changes and goes my way then I think that would be really helpful. That way you're logging everything because do you ever notice that like throughout the day, like people could just like give you stuff, like you could be in a waiting room and have a piece of candy or um, you know, your neighbor could be like, oh, want a cupcake or want a cookie or I don't know, do you ever notice that like, or like a sample in the grocery store, all of those things, it's like, of course not each one makes a difference, but if you add them all up, maybe that's where you're getting your extra extra calories or um, maybe you're going to Starbucks and getting the sugariest latte you didn't even know. So just try to keep track of everything and I think that would really help out with the diet. The second thing with the diet is your cheat day. Some people are gonna be extra sensitive to a cheat day. I personally like to cheat the whole day with having healthy meals as well and I do work out on cheat days. So those are all things to know. But maybe you're extra sensitive to a cheat day and you wanna change your cheat day to a cheat meal just to see what happens. It's all about trial and error. And the last thing I wanna end this video with is when you get into a rut. So ruts for fitness can come from all sorts of places or just ruts in general, but this video is ruts in fitness and not wanting to work out, not wanting to cook, not wanting to eat healthy. Stop caring about the goal for a second. Like, I know, this is something I don't really say, but stop caring about the goal for like two seconds and do something that is going to make you laugh. Go see a funny movie, uh, hang out with friends, um, do something that's creative. Over the weekend, me and Jared took a couple's art class. It was really fun, and honestly, the next day is when we decided we should take a class and go to Rise Nation and do that climbers class. So it was the very next day because we were so inspired from the art class. It got us to like do things that like adults don't get to do all the time. We're not in class anymore. We don't always get to paint, and it was fun. The, the teacher had on like, good loud music and you could bring wine if you wanted to and honestly the next day i felt really inspired just in general so get your mind off your goal for just even just a night like that's all that's all i did was just for a night like that art class and i felt so i felt like the next day everything was going to go my way because i just was on this high of creativity anything that you hear that might sound interesting that has nothing to do with your goal might not have anything to do with fitness these are ways to get out of ruts because they make you feel good. They make you feel special. Maybe you're laughing the whole time. It's good to focus on your goals, but it's also good to have a healthy relationship with them and to sometimes not think about them. You know, give yourself a break. So those are my tips on plateaus and getting out of ruts. So I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Any tips you have on either of these topics, it'd be super helpful if you left them down below. Make sure to check out my meal plan if you're interested and follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. So I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.